popping YouTube. It's your boy Q. Q the flu. Q the influencer, man. And we back up in this thing. You know, long time no see. But another one, baby. Happy holidays. Happy New Year's to everybody. It is New Year's Eve where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna get into this top five cops, you know, 2019, man. The end of the decade. All right, man. Uh, but before we do that, you know, help your boy out. We're trying to get to that 1K in 2020. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know, I know we, we, we've been working on it for a while, man. But let's make sure we, let, let's please hit that go. Help your boy hit that milestone as we head into the new year. Without further ado, let's get into it. Also, before we even get started, though, man, special shout out to my girl, Feast and Treats. All her information will be linked below, man. Yo, I was just, I just came back from spending the Christmas holiday in Atlanta, Georgia, man. You know, the, the old, you know, Miss Flu, you know, that's where our family's from. You know what I'm saying? We definitely, you know, got some things popping out there, spending time with the loved ones and the family. But you know, I had to get it in, you know, get some time to get it in, you know, with the sneak community. So we definitely did link up, you know, with the homegirl Fits and Treats, man, to go ahead and hit up one of the dopest spots in the A, you know what I'm saying? Heat ATL. Link to that video will be in the description, man. Go ahead and check it out, man. As you see, your boy, you know, do that cross-gender, you know, team Lil Feet, team Big Feet collaboration. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty, pretty dope, man. Uh, Y'all should definitely check it out if you haven't already. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, man. One Night Left 2019. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot, a lot of shit that took, that went down and that took place. You know what I'm saying? Over the course of this year, man, we're about to end a decade. You know what I'm saying? Going to a whole new era of sneakers. You know what I'm saying? You know, as we can kind of see, we got we got some exciting stuff to look forward to, man. SB Wave coming back. You know what I'm saying? Everything's being recycled. SB Wave coming back in style. You know, and really, you know, some will say it never left, but definitely not with the prominence that it is that that is certainly coming back to you know now. These days, going into the 2020s. You know what I'm saying? Ended it off on a strong foot. Everybody got to have a designer sneaker collab, you know, and high and top, you know, sneaker brand collaboration. So gone are the days where Nike and Jordan brand could just go ahead and hit us with the super duper retro. You know what I'm saying? And that just instantly sell out. That's what we got to look forward to. Here come the days where, you know, if it ain't got a name or a brand or a high end luxury brand attached to it, it probably ain't going to have hype behind it. You know what I'm saying? And I think 2019 was the perfect, you know, kind of case study at what's to come in the sneaker world and the sneaker community, which you'll see, you know, a lot of people's top 10, top five lists are dominated by like, you know, collabs and things of that nature. Mine is gonna be no different, but within that, there was a lot of beauty to come, you know, from the sneakers. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into a few honorable mentions and we gonna end that thing out with, the, with my top five, as we go ahead and get up out of here and enjoy our new year. All right, let's get it. All right, so, you know what I'm saying? Honorable mention, you know what I'm saying? Can't have every Travis in the collection. If you follow my page, my IG, everything of that nature, you know, there's there's probably, what it ain't many Travis's we missing out on, man. I fuck with Travis Scott, I fuck with the movement, and his kicks are just fire, you know what I'm saying? He definitely had some bangers coming from the Travis Scott you know, situation this year, man. Out of green sixes. Y'all know what time it is with these things. Cactus Jack Air Force Ones, which I do like better than the white situations, just because, you know, they're more wearable. And I feel like I can, you know, kind of wear these without worried about, you know, ruining them to all be down. You know what I'm saying? Every Travis Scott ain't gonna fill out the list. My top five. But I gotta put these in the honorable mentions. Y'all already know. All right, y'all know what these is. Next honorable mention, you know what I'm saying? OG Nike box. You know what time it is, man. Honorable mention for one of the favorite shoes that I copped this year. You know, had to be the Bread Elevens, man. I was happy to see these come back and hyper, you know, super high patent leather form, OG form. You know what I'm saying? These things are pretty neat, man. Pretty dope. If I had one critique for this particular model, this particular pair, I would have loved for the red to be a little darker, you know, on that sole, man. You know, these, these kind of look like, you know, the Fruity Loops, a little light, a little lighter than they should be, you know, but nevertheless, 
the white outline, the peak, the high pack leather. These shits are crack rock. Thank you, Jay Bree, for retroing these. Now I can go on StockX and get hit over the head for $300 because, you know, I decided not to give my size on release day. But, honorable mention, def nevertheless, I'm pretty sure that he's in a lot of people's top five, top 10. Dope shoe, definitely deserve to be there. Let's get it. Another shoe, you know what I'm saying, that I copped this year that I thought was a super, super plain. You see the Nike by U box. You know, if you follow, again, if you follow my page, you follow my channel, you know I've been beating these shits to all to be damned. And we have here the Cactus Plant Flea Market Blazers. You know what I'm saying? And I actually, you know, back in the time on Nike ID, where you can actually customize some shit and, you know, actually have time to do it. Now, these did sell out and these were like a crazy sellout. They sold out, you know, pretty fast. But I feel like you had a lot more time with these than you did those goddamn Air Force Ones. That I'm still sad that I didn't get, you know what I'm saying? Anybody got that size 13? The sunshine, air sunshine with the orange outline lettering. That was my grail pair. That was the pair for me. Let's make, you know what I'm saying? Lord, subscribe, Lord. If somebody gonna watch this video, let's work it out, baby. But if I didn't get those, Cactus Point Feet Market definitely killed it this year with the Nike sneaker collabs. Like I said, it's all about those collabs moving forward to 2020. These were the Blazers. These are, you know, the perfect everyday beat them up, you know, shoot. And you gotta, you see a lot of celebrities, a lot of people that actually, you know, got the shoe showing love. You know, it's a good one to wear. I was happy to have it. All right, moving right along. And last but not least, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna end off the honorable mentions with a recent cop, you know what I'm saying? A cop that I actually got a chance to make down in Atlanta when I was down there for the holidays. Thank you versus ATL, you know what I'm saying? The homeboys out there doing their thing, man. Having to bless me with these guys right here. No introduction needed. You know what these are. Air Max 97 Silver Bullets, you know what I'm saying? A couple of years ago, I actually missed out on being able to cop these situations, trying to double up for the Royal Ones. They came out of like the same weekend or something crazy like that. And I would regret for years, at least the next couple of years, not having kept these. I did get the I, I did get the gold versions and I beat them shits. Like I couldn't beat a shoe no more. But always in the back of my mind, really, really wish I would have held on to my pair of the silver bullets, man. These things are beautiful, gorgeous, and number one, you know, on the list of Air Max 97s. Especially as you see, they done just super pimped and hold these shits out. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they stop the, you know, 97, you know, bashing in 2020. But these are absolutely a favorite cop, one of my favorite cops this year. And I'm happy to have them in my collection at Max 97 Silver Bullets. So now we getting into my top five cops of all of 2019, man. I know everybody's going with that top 10 list and I don't want to go, I, I'm not trying to do that. I feel like that can get, you know, uh, you know, really long and pointless for nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? We're doing the top five of my favorite cops this year. Top five, you know, in some cases, you know, kind of my top five sneakers this year. You know what I'm saying? It's not much the cute of flu, you know, don't get a chance to touch. But if it's worth touching, I, I'm definitely touching. Pause. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So number five, coming in there for, for a cop. You know what I'm saying? Mrs. Flu. Uh, I had the melodies. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, those are definitely up in there. But for the team, Lil Feet, Shoe of the Year, Sneaker of the Year, and I think these definitely came out this year. I want to say they did. Let me make sure. Shit. Uh, damn, these might have just came out like at the end of like last year, but should I cop these shit this year? So pretend like these are the melodies, the Air, the, the, uh, Air Jordan um, ones, those things are coming back, coming in. That was definitely between the melody, Air Jordan one mids, 
And these guys right here, Eleni May, she killed these shits. Home run. Smacked these shits right out of the park. These shits are fucking fire. I love this shoe. I wish they would have made these shoes in men's sizes. I would definitely have a pair. This is probably my favorite six, Air Jordan six of all time. And I can't even fit the shit. It's, it's incredible, you know, and super, super hard body, you know, to have the 3M not only go from these two panels right here, all the way down, man. That's just like the dopest touch ever on this particular sneaker right here. Zion Williamson, I, I know he wear like a 15 or some crazy shit out here. Hey, bro, you want to bust your boy Q flu? You watching? Hook your boy up. I need these. Size 13, please. Size 13. It's my number five sneaker, y'all. Let's get it. Okay. Number four, man. So I know I'm about to get a lot of flack, you know what I'm saying, for this particular position that I put this sneaker in. But around here, Fugate TV, it is about, it ain't about the hype. It's about copying what we like around here. And for my number four shoe, boom. Travis Scott, Air Jordan 1. Probably the most comfortable. Ow. Travis Scott, Air Jordan 1. Probably my most comfortable, my most comfortable. Air Jordan 1 that I own, man. It is absolutely ridiculous how comfortable these shits are, man. Like, you see the, you know, dirty. You know, I definitely wear these shits. Endless lace swap options on these shits right here, man. Brown, buttery suede everywhere. It's just no way to beat these. You know what I'm saying? Like, these shits are perfect. And, you know, I was grateful and happy to get a pair. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to your boy, Nate Triple OG. Got him that size nine that he is raffling off on his channel. I'll link that somewhere in the description too. You know what I'm saying? And he was able to, you know, get my size 13, you know what I'm saying, from my home squad, St. Alfred, you know, back in Chicago, man. So, you know, all's well that ends well. I did vlog this experience. So you can go back 2019 and see how I came up on these boys, you know, food and TV. There ain't much we don't touch. But this is my number four sneaker. Let's get it. number three. You know what I'm saying? This shoe right here was, I believe, the sneaker of the year, Complex. You know, we went, I went out to Complex Long Beach, this Complex Con kind of Chicago was trash, and that was my home city. I don't understand how they could have did that to us, but that's another conversation for another day. Went out to Complex Con kind of Long Beach this year, LA, shout out to my peoples out there, held it down. And this, this particular shoe was voted sneaker of the year. And before I saw it on you know, on foot, I was kind of like, yeah. But then I saw him. But then I saw him. And then I got a pair. And then the vision happened. And the drip came. And it was just love ever since then. And I'm talking about the Nike Sakai Waffle. Green colorway. Blue colorway is nice, but definitely the green colorway. You know what I'm saying? OG joints, man. As you can see, man. Y'all see, y'all see what's going on. Y'all see that bumper. Y'all see the dirt around those things. I wear these shits with socks, no socks. Summertime, wintertime, it don't matter. The most comfortable, flyest fucking sneaker. Like it's a it's a shame and embarrassing how fly this goddamn sneaker is for your fucking shocks to be see-through, man. Like Nike. Let Sakai get off on these shits and do their thing. This is absolutely one of my most worn sneakers from the moment they came out to the end of the fucking year. I feel like I just wore these shits a couple of weeks ago and it was just snowing outside. Ridiculous. But these shits are flames. I know you already agree. This is my number three shoe. You know what I'm saying? I love this sneaker. It's just fire, man. Number three. Now we getting down to the final two sneakers, man. Yo, if I had a drum roll, yeah, we can get a drum roll. But we getting down to the number two sneakers, the final two sneakers, man. And anybody that, again, that follows what the hell I'm doing, on IG, and in some of these vlogs, that was one sneaker that I just had to have this year. When I saw like mock images of it, I said, yo, them shit's gotta be mine. My favorite fucking model, sneaker model this year. 
So damn all the hype, damn all the, you know, the confidence, the list and all that. My favorite fucking model and the favorite and my favorite colorway that has come in happens to be the number two sneaker on the list. And that sneaker is the Air Fear God One and the Amarillo, aka the Chicago Sky, aka the Lake Show. Colorway, man. These things, you know, you can see the dirt radiating, permeating all through that joint. Like, these things crack. They go with everything. They literally pop. Like, these shit so hard, my girl want a pair. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't see yellow Nike shoes often ever, and especially done right, ever. You know what I'm saying? We've been waiting on yellow Jordan 1s for God knows how long. You know what I'm saying? But Jerry Lorenzo came through, gave us these yellow shits, man. And these shits just go dumb. Go crazy, man. They fire, man. It's, it's not even really a lot to say about these shits, man. Debut first at the Complex Con, you know, with John Mayer. You know, the Complex Con, you know, newspaper article with John Mayer. Um, I was in love ever since then, man. Jerry Lorenzo came through. This is probably the best thing to happen, you know, at Complex Con. Chicago, you know, the exclusive drop on that Sunday. Super crazy, man. I might have to drop some footage, you know what I'm saying? Just just on this by itself. You know what I'm saying? Super crazy to make this shoe happen. Shout out to my boy Weez. You know what I'm saying? Like giving your boy the, the heads up on these, man. You know what he is, man. It's, you know, it, 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 it's good to be loved in the city. It's good people respect you for doing what you do. You know what I'm saying? I want to see you win out here, man. So shout out to my boy, Dweez. You know what I'm saying? I'm making sure that, you know, I had the ultimate chance to cop these shits, man. This is my favorite model this year. I'm mad that they left these out of the complex, uh, com you know, complex sneak of the year list. I feel like brand new silhouette, dopest colorway, absolutely top five. But, you know, it's about what you like to each his own. These are my number two. And finally, we can hit that drum roll, please. For my number one sneaker of the year. If you know me, it should be no surprise what the fuck this sneaker is gonna be. You ready? You ready for it? Absolutely. Off-white, MCA, blue things. All white MCAs, baby. You couldn't have been no other shoes. Like, we know the vibes. We know about the legendary resale. We know about the Chicago on the exclusive shits. We know about what MCA is. If you ain't know the Museum of Contemporary Art in Chicago. This shoe right here, from the colorway to, 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 the, to the Air Force One, everything about this shoe to me spells Chicago for us, by us. And I just had to have this shoe in my collection. I was blessed and able to get this shit for these shits for retail. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chicago. Shout out to Nike Lab, the Virgil space. That place, you know, done miraculous things and, and wonderful things, man. And I got these joints right before, you know, I made one of the biggest transitions in my life. You know what I'm saying? Moved to a new city. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so, like, I'm super, 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 super grateful to have these in my collection. I, the only thing that would probably get these out of my collection is if I'm buying a wedding ring from my girl or some <laughs> All right, my bad, y'all. Got a phone call. Uh, but yeah, man, where the fuck I was at? These shits are cracked. You know you wish you had these in your collection. If you had these shits in your collection, they'd be your number one too. You know what I'm saying? Very, very sentimental pair of sneakers for me. As I was trying to say, the only thing that could ever get these out of my collection, you know, I gotta be buying, you know, baby girl a wedding ring, buying my future wife a wedding ring or some shit like that. You know, something that's gonna replace the sentimental value that these hold in my heart as a sneakerhead. These right here replace so many L's, especially off white L's. <laughs> <laughs> in my life, and I am so grateful to have them. 
these these shits were on the us on my birthday in New Orleans, baby. We got memories, we got history. We got history. You know what I'm saying? But yo, that's my top five, you know, sneaker cops this year, man. Like, let me know what y'all top five were, man. Put that in the comment box below. As 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 always, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's a new year, new opportunities to do great things. Start today. Act on your plan. Execute your plan. Make your dreams come true. You know what I'm saying? We can all do it. We got another decade to do so, man. Rebrand. Yo, a lot of fresh new things coming in 2020. You know what I'm saying? We're going to spice up the channel. We're doing a whole new rebrand, man. Q the Flu. I always be Q, Q the Flu, especially to my day one subscribers. New name, new brand, new everything coming in the works. It's always going to be Flu Game TV. You know what I'm saying? As we proceed to give you what you need, like, comment, subscribe, baby. You know the vibes. It's your boy Q the Flu, Q the Flu, it's Flu Game TV. And we out. Happy holidays, happy New Year's, everybody. Let's get it.